everybody, welcome to my channel. So today I'm finally going to be doing another tag video and I'm doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. This has been going around booktube for a while now and I wanted to do it too because I thought it was just kind of a cool concept to talk about the books that you didn't like. So yeah. This tag was created by the book archer and I will leave her channel down below. And without any further ado, let's get on with the questions. Question number one is a popular book or series that you didn't like. And for this, I chose Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Now, if you have been following my channel for a while, you will know that I did not enjoy this book at all. I actually have a review for it. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. But my problem with this book was that number one, it wasn't scary at all. Number two, the love interest was gross, and number three, I just didn't get into it at all. Um, I do have the second book, but I have not picked it up yet. I got it for Christmas, I think, but I just don't have the interest to find out more about these characters or just see them again because I just couldn't stand them in the first book, and a lot of people say that it gets better in the second one, but I'm just not interested in it. I'm sorry, guys. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is I don't want to offend anyone with my opinions. These are just my personal opinions. If you like these books, good for you. I wish I liked them too, but that's just how it is. So sorry about that again. Question number two is a popular book or series that everyone hates but you love. And for this, I chose The Hundred by Cass Morgan. Now I have read the whole trilogy and I actually really enjoyed it despite everything that people have been saying about this book series. I think everyone doesn't like it just because they compare it too much to the TV show because I realize that it is very different from the TV show. Like only some of the character names and the basic premise is the same but the story and everything that happens is completely different. I think that people to be able to enjoy this book just have to get over the fact that the TV show is one thing and the book series is another thing. That's what I did and I ended up really enjoying it. I can understand that some people don't like this book also because of the writing style that isn't the best and some characters that make some stupid decisions or they're just annoying but I still really enjoy this book and I wish more people did. Question number three is a love triangle where the person didn't end up with the person that you wanted to end up with if that makes any sense and for that I chose sadly the summer I turned pretty series by Jenny Han now don't get me wrong I absolutely adore this series so much and it's one of my favorite series of all time but the ending of the third book kind of had me a little bit confused now I'm warning you guys there will be spoilers now so if you haven't read this book mute it and until this picture disappears just keep it down and then you can turn the volume up back again. So at the end, she ends up with Conrad after a whole book where she was supposed to get married to Jeremiah. That made no sense to me. Like, I didn't want her to end up with Jeremiah, but I also didn't want her to end up with Conrad after everything that happened. This book series just got me confused at the end, and I just wish she was single. Like, it was the best choice for her. Try and find someone else from these two boys, because that's just not how it's gonna work. Like, that was my opinion. I was really conflicted after I finished We'll Always Have Summer because my head just was going crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I'm certainly not happy about it. Spoilers over! Okay, so yeah, I chose this one just because the ending just had me a little bit confused and I don't really know how I feel about it, so yeah. Question number four is a popular book genre that you rarely reach for, and for this, I chose historical fiction. Now, I have read some historical fictions like Prisoner of Night and Fog, or A Great and Terrible Beauty, or the Infernal Devices series, which I really loved, but sometimes the historical fiction elements just get a little bit too much for me, and it's kind of hard to understand for some reason. I don't know, I just, I'm not really a history person at school, and also in books for some reason. So yeah, I wish I liked them. I just I just can't get into them. Question number five is a popular or beloved character that you just can't stand. And for me, that is Damon Black from the Lux series. I know a lot of people love him, but a lot of people hate him too because he is such a douchebag. I can't even stand him. When I was reading this book, I all I was thinking was, don't just just don't be with him, like please, just 
don't because he's such a douchebag and I know people are saying, yeah, in the next books he gets better and he actually shows his feelings for blah blah blah. No, I don't like him, I will never like him, and it's it's never gonna happen, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I should not have done that. I like these books, I just don't like him. I feel bad now. Question number six is a popular author that you can't seem to get into. And for this, I'm choosing something that will probably shock some people. But I'm choosing Morgan Matson, the author of Since You've Been Gone, Eamon Rogers' Up Detour, Second Chance Summer, and all of those books. Now, I have read these two. I haven't read Second Chance Summer or any of the Katie Finn books, but... For some reason, I can't seem to enjoy these as much as other people do. I find them to be kind of slow and I don't really like the characters. I don't even know why. Um, I read these both last year. If I read them now, I'm not sure how I would feel about them, but I didn't like them when I read them for the first time. I might reread these or pick up some of her other books to see if I like those, but these ones, I just couldn't seem to be able to get into them that much, which is sad. Question number seven is a popular popular book trope that you're tired of seeing. I let out a breath and didn't realize I'd been holding. That is in every single book. I'm just tired of seeing it. Done. Question number eight is a popular book or series that you have no interest in reading. And for this one, I chose The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, I think that's her name? I'm not sure. The premise just doesn't intrigue me at all. I know it's like a retelling of some kind of story, but um, for some reason it just doesn't appeal to me and I know everyone loves it, but I'm just, I'm really not excited at all to read that book or interested, so yeah. Question number nine is what movie or TV show adaptation do you like more than the book? And for this, I chose The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Now, this book, I liked it when I read it, but I thought it was kind of slow at the beginning and in the middle. It picks up at the end, but it's just overall a slap book. But the movie was absolutely amazing and I loved it so much. So yeah, definitely this one. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about the second one because with the trailer, I saw that it was kind of different from the book, and I actually really enjoyed the second one more than this one. So yeah, but definitely The Maze Runner was such a great movie, and the book wasn't so great. So there you have it. Those are all of my unpopular opinions. Comment down below if you feel the same way about some things that I said, or how you feel about things that I said. So just feel free to tell me what you think. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, or subscribe to my channel if you liked it even more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see all of you guys next time. Bye!